Good afternoon, process and colleagues. I am Priji. And the assignment topic for this module, Environment and Sustainability, is making UAE environment more sustainable. The case study chosen by me is residential communities. And I'll be going through all these sessions in my presentation. UAE has a history of sustainable residential development with the dense buildings, having vernacular architecture, narrow alleys, burgeals, and shared facilities. Urbanization had led to the contemporary planning ideologies. To keep the balance between environment, social factors, and economic development, UAE government has initiated many strategies. UAE Green Growth Strategy, UAE 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, and Net Zero by 2050, to name a few. All these trends have laid path to the development of sustainable cities in the country. Like Master City in Abu Dhabi, with a carbon neutral zero waste goal. The city has solar PV, solar thermal, and wind energy options along with conventional means. Wind towers, passive design elements, and use of palm wood for all external mem wooden members are sustainable features. The city claims 40% saving in electricity bills. Another development in this category is Dubai Sustainable City. With the solar energy use, the city plans to reduce fossil energy by 42%. Top-rated insulation and UV reflective paint aims to reduce the cooling energy requirements of the city. Grey water recycling and waste decomposition for manure is used for organic farming in biodomes and organic gardens. The first net zero targeted community in Sharjah is Sharjah Sustainable City. 100% grey water recycling is planned in the city and villas are provided with the rooftop solar panels. Reduction of 50% on electricity and water bills are targeted by the city. Some of the literature reviewed for this research are illustrated here. Kelvani believes that urbanization is causing social inequality and zoning. Corbyn urges the urban sustainability scholars to shift the focus from mere economic development to environmental and social factors too. Krismoski recommends public-private partnership and coordinated cooperation and investment for creating sustainable environment. While Serenity advocates cooperation between business and education for make, imparting a sustainable mindset. Research done at Khalifa University observed that transition to renewable energy sources might boost the economy by increasing the fossil fuel export and decouple of power and water production in the country. For this research, some residential communities in UAE are selected for the study. The sites selected were Executive Towers Business Bay, Al Nada Sharjah, Al Rashidia Ajman, Haptur City near the Dubai Water Canal, and Heritage Village in Dubai Bastakia. The research question is how to make the environment of residential communities of UAE more sustainable? Methodology adopted is as per the conceptual framework shown here. Data was collected through site inspection and observation, survey among the residents and interview with the stakeholders. Collected data have been analyzed and recommendations were put forward according to the results obtained from the analysis. Data collection by site inspection and observation. These are some of the photographs taken at Executive Towers Business Bay. The conglomeration of 12 towers has access to residents only through parking, which has garbage accumulation from daily domestic waste to long accumulated furniture and fit out waste. There is no option for segregation of waste. The development does not have any means for renewable energy or water recycling. The common area, bay avenue area and all other decorative lights are powered with conventional energy and hence the maintenance cost of this is one of the highest in the locality. Residences in another area of Sharjah also has no means for segregated waste collection from the residences. Accumulated old furniture and building maintenance waste are an eyesore in the backside of many buildings. Construction and supermarket waste and sand removed from the drains are seen in the footpath near the main road. No passive design features are observed in the area. Similar problems of unsegregated waste could be seen in Al Rashidia 1 and 2 of Ajman also. 
It is also observed that the fencing for construction works are not proper and the construction materials are seen without any fencing near residential areas also. No renewable energy means or recycling options for water in these areas. Hapthor city along Sheikh Said Road overlooking Dubai Water Canal is boasting many amenities including a crush and a sports hub. But the city launched in 2020, much later than the development of sustainable cities in the country, does not have any on-site energy solutions, municipal waste segregation means, or proper water recycling options. The residential towers ha is having 122,000 square feet of leisure deck with a vast swimming pool area which demands large quantity of treated water. The heritage of UAE is to reduce the open area between the buildings to ensure shade. The corridor lights are not automated and the room meant for recycled waste collection is kept locked. Sustainability is not only providing amenities, it should be considered from the design stage itself. Al Bastakia is a heritage village which was built in 1690s by the traders relocated from the Bastak area of Iran. From the pictures, it is clear that more attention and care is required to preserve these sites and developers should be encouraged to adopt the sustainable technologies in these sites which are in harmony with the climate and culture of the country. Second method of data collection was by a survey among the residents. Results are discussed in the following slides. Results have shown that a majority of residents have good awareness on sustainability and a very positive on the environmental benefits of incorporating energy from renewable sources. But less than half of them is ready to absorb the high upfront cost for the implementation of sustainable practices. This chart shows that even though more than 75% of the participants are not segregating the waste now, if given a facility to dispose the waste separately, most of them will follow it. An alarming 75% of residents opine that artificial lighting is required even during the daytime. And majority of respondents are not worried about the air quality and the construction sound in the residential locality. More than one-fourth of the respondents said that water quality was affected by the outcomes of the recent rain and access to public transport and healthcare facilities are observed to be fair. Interview of stakeholders was done by identifying the participants from various fields of construction of residential communities. DPSIR framework of European Environmental Agency states energy use and resource use as drivers for environmental impacts. Hence, participants for interview were selected from those who can take decisions on the resource and energy use for the residential community developments, like developers, structural engineers, MEP engineers, field engineers, and cost estimators. The software tool for qualitative analysis, NVivo, was used for spotting the trends by cross-examination of the data. Codes coming under the same concept were grouped under themes. Thus, visual memos can be developed like project maps. The project map developed for the research question is shown here. The research question, how to make UAE environment more sustainable, was answered by six themes, namely control measures, design strategies, financial strategies, waste management, incorporating new features, and mandatory regulations. The first theme, control measures, has three codes, decarbonization, imposing penalty for unsustainable developments, and whole life carbon assessment of any system. The second theme was change in design approaches or design strategies. Majority of participants opined that sustainable features not being considered at the initial planning stage is a major concern and a collaborative design approach of engineers and architects from the beginning would be beneficial. Use of more durable uh, materials to enhance the longevity of the developments and integrated design approach were also proposed under this theme. The theme financial strategies have recommendations for imposing carbon tax. For encouraging the developers, Green financing and tax incentives are recommended as they are supporting the local economy and saving the environment. Waste reduction, segregation, composting of wet waste and recycling of waste are proposed in the waste management theme. Introduction of advanced materials and technologies and new green features in the facades and making the Existing regulations mandatory for obtaining the construction approvals were also identified as codes under different themes from the interview responses. Results and recommendations. 
the identified problems and recommendations from the data and analysis are now stated. Poor waste management was observed in all the case studies. Recommendations are providing garbage chutes and bins with segregated waste collection, implementation of recycling stations and recure technologies, decomposing of the wet waste for manure and energy from waste. Energy management. Increase the share of renewable energy in developments. Improve clean energy technology. Use of energy efficient appliances. Adopt construction technologies that reduce energy requirements. Water conservation and water quality. The recommendations are recycling of water, use of low flow fixtures, rainwater harvesting and proper rainwater management. It is recommended to take precautions to avoid any kind of outbreaks of mixing of drinking water with grey or black water to ensure the drinking water quality. Collaborative and integrated design approaches from the initial planning stage is recommended for overcoming the problems arising while trying to incorporate the sustainable features at a later stage. Making the regulations mandatory and penalizing those who are not following will ensure sustainable development and helps to achieve net zero target. Developers need to be encouraged with the financial strategies like green financing and credit point systems. Preserving the heritage and spreading the awareness on the sustainable features such developments holds are recommended for the development of more environment friendly residential communities. This research is intended to observe the human actions or drivers causing the pressure on the UAE environment and is aiming to put forward recommendations for reducing the impact of such issues on the stable state of the environment. Inefficient waste management and sustainable features not being incorporated in the design of majority of residential developments due to the competitive real estate market are imparting pressure on the environment of UAE. High upfront cost and requirement of new technologies and skilled professionals are the main challenges. Renewable energy means and recycling of waste is mostly implemented in government buildings and iconic sustainable developments only. Individuals and private undertakings need to be more aware and should extend coordinated cooperation for the successful implementation of Net Zero 2050 strategy goal of the government. To conclude, for making the UAE environment more sustainable, strategic planning of waste management with an intention to reduce landfill is required. Technological solutions for recycling, decomposing and energy from waste is needed in a broader way. And sustainability should not only be in paper. Planning for the same from the beginning and designing accordingly is required for making the environment safe for future generations also. Thank you.